Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, what you can see, it is uh, worms. They are worms. I don't know if they are, they are the ones that are called the caterpillars. The caterpillars. They are everywhere and they are, they are crossing over the border. They are coming from this side and they are going over like a large army. A large army that is coming and their teeth are very sharp and they are also eating. And wherever they pass, they, they, they live dry. They live as dry. They are cutting, they are eating, and even uh, taking over the land. What, are, what is the Lord saying in the land of Kenya? In the book of Joel chapter 1 say, The word of the Lord that came to Joel the son of Peduel, Hear this, you old men, and give ear all inhabited of the land. Has this been in your days, or even in the days of your father? That's a question God is asking. Has this been in your days? Has this been in your days, or even in the days of your father? For me, I have never seen such a things, even in the days of my father, or in the days of my youth. And he said, tell your children of it, and let your children tell their, their children, and their children another generation, that which the palm wood has left, the locust will eat, and which locust has left, the kankam, the kankam will eat, and that which the kankam has left, uh, the caterpillar will eat. This is what God is saying, that what was left behind by the locust, it shall be eaten by the palm wood, and what was eaten by the palm wood, it shall be eaten by the caterpillar. That is dangerous of God is saying that what, what uh, that which palm wood has left has the locust eaten, and that which the locust has left has the canker wheat eaten, and what the canker worm has left has the caterpillar eaten. This is the reality of the scripture. And God say, Awake, you drunkard, and weep, or uh, all you drunkards of the wine, because of the new wine, for it is cut off from the mouth. For he said, for, for a nation is come upon, uh, upon my land, strong and without a number, whose teeth are the teeth of the lion, and he has the cheek of the teeth of the great lion. Now this is another nation that has come upon our land, Kenya. And he said, awake, awake, you drunkard, and weep. It is time to awake and to weep, and he said, and he say, Rament like a virgin, guided with the sacro for the husband of her youth. What God is saying, he is saying that it is time to weep because when we see those things, that is to say, the days that are coming are very tough. That, that is a sign of a famine, a sign of a drought. I don't know if it's spiritual drought or if it's a physical drought, but God is saying in Kenya, let us awake because there is a foreign Run, there's a foreign army that has come into our land and is destroying everything. What was left by the locust now is being eaten by palm wood. And what is left by the palm wood is now being eaten by the caterpillar. So God is commanding repentance to the nation of Kenya and is commanding that we weep and wail, interceding and crying for this land. Because there's a drought, there is a famine that is coming spiritually or physically. This is a sign from God that we have never seen such things in the days of our father or even in our days. So it is time to repent and to turn from God because all scriptures and all prophecies shall come to be fulfilled. Remember, the kingdom of God is near and Jesus Christ is coming.